I'm gonna repot this variegated umbrella plant. Um, as you can see, it's at the very edge of the pot because when I bought it, it had only stems or that were stuck into the dirt and those all rotted away. This is the only piece that was rooted and surviving after everything else died. So we'll repot him, put him in the middle. We're gonna keep him in the same pot here though. Uh, we're just gonna move him to the center. And he has cute new growth there. That's the newest leaf that just came in. It has a new tiny leaf right here. So. Look at those roots. See, he was the only one who had roots like this. All right, so. Slowly loosen up the dirt. Slowly. Right. So I think that's all I'm gonna take off from him because I don't want to put him in too much stress. Because I don't want him to die. Here's a rotted piece from the other stem. Okay. So we're just gonna stick him back into his pot. And we're gonna center him in here, so. Now, okay. Let's just take Here's another one. This is the jelly pepperonia, and as you can see, this is her. So, we'll put this big one in here. just because this polka dot plant just has so much roots it'll just be better suited for a longer deeper pot like that so let's put her up and i like to give like about an inch and a half inch inch and a half of dirt at the bottom for them all over the place. Yeah, 
Two plants separated with substantial amount of roots. There you go. We're gonna pop them up separately. I can actually trim some of these off too. sad white polka dot plant um, I forgot to water it and it pretty much dried out all the way but it has some healthy parts left so I'm hoping I can salvage this little guy I'm hoping I don't know if I'll be able to though let's see the best I can do with the cleanup, cleaning him up, making sure that he is good and okay. He does have a few new growth. Let's see if I don't focus my dirty hands. These guys. I'm moving on to my tiny terrarium plants now. I'm going to repot this guy. Yeah, I can just put it back in here with dirt.
this one for sure needs to be repotted. all done. So that was pretty much all of my plant repotting for this coming out summer. That's, I think, pretty much all my plants I'm going to repot until next year. Okay, so I repotted most of these little plants. I didn't really repot them. I just took out the old dirt and put in new dirt. Um, a lot of these are the terrarium plants. And then this paint, uh, Prince of Orange didn't need repotting. He's just going to stay there for a little bit. I didn't repot this guy either. Um, I just cleaned him up. And here's the polka dot plant. And we didn't do anything with a nerve plant. Um, she was okay. So, And then here's the jelly pepperomia. I separated that one into their own. There was three branches in one, and I separated them. everything back inside now. So, this is the sunroom. Pretty much it has the screen windows all the way around. Uh, we blocked the ones over in the north side here, So, but we have the east and the south and then the door. And then over here on this wall is our garage. But um, this, I will be converting it into my greenhouse this summer. That is my project. Um, converting this into a greenhouse. I will be lining it with plastic on the outside. Uh, clear plastic so that the stuff can still come in. But I want to eventually have this be a year-round greenhouse. Um, I'm still looking into it. That is just one of my goals for this summer. To convert this into my greenhouse. Uh, so I can leave all my plants out here. But we're gonna move all the plants that I pretty much repotted and added soil to back inside now. So I guess I'll take y'all along with me. Uh, since I'm holding my tripod, I will guide. We're gonna take the dogs out too. There's William and Chloe, and then Iris is back there laying down by the garage, sunbathing. Uh, we're, I'm gonna take the dogs out to the lake. Go walk around a lake with my brother. Oh, and there they go. Um, so we're gonna go walk in a little bit here. And I will be vlogging that as well. So we're indoors again. Here are all my plants. This is where they live. They live here. Um, let's see if I can put all of these back in their original spots. Since I have more plants now, I have to make room again. Uh, let's see. He's there. Oh. I'm so happy this guy's growing and he's doing good. His roots are so amazing. I was so scared I was going to lose this guy. He's so cute. But I'm glad he's doing well. There they are. What they do. There's William. Always gotta be on alert. Iris and Chloe. I'm so happy it's getting warmer. But we're supposed to be having cloudy day in the next next few days, the rest of the week pretty much. And it's supposed to rain. Hmm. It's supposed to rain. I don't know how I feel about that. I have to get used to holding my camera up because this angle isn't so flattering. But up here, it's just weird because new to vlogging, new to YouTube, and I have to And I like have to just learn how to hold it up. But yeah, uh, let's see. I want to move all the little plants inside first, so I'm just gonna stick them all in here. such a bad angle, so sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna set most of them on the 
coffee table for now until I find new homes for them amongst 